Here we are. We're going to create a grouped frequency table. We hope. Okay, we start with a problem. We have a data set. It's the values for men's weights. We've asked 24 men, so we have 24 different values. We could create a simple frequency table and list every single one of these in its own row, but that would be awful. It wouldn't make any sense and it wouldn't help us to see any patterns in the data. So what we want to do is make a grouped frequency table from our data. We'll do that first by putting this messy collection into a column. We'll copy what I did. was I copied one column at a time, I pasted it over here until I had all the numbers over here. <coughs> Pardon me. Then I highlighted these. Oops. <laughs> that was a dingbat move. Sorry. Then I highlighted these, went to data, clicked sort, sorry about that banging ring, pick continue with the current selection, tell it to sort, largest to smallest. If it doesn't say that, you can change it so that it does. Click OK. Now your data is sorted, so your largest is up here, smallest down here. Now you can use this to get your minimum and maximum values. Just look right there, max, right there, min, or you could use formulas in Excel. If you wanted to just use it on this mess over here, you could tell Excel to get out of my way. 259. Highlight that cell and then type in equals MAX max. And then inside parentheses you can highlight all of your data and it will come out with your maximum value. You do the same thing to find the minimum value except that you just type in equals MIN min. And then in parentheses again you've got all this data that you highlighted. The range, you simply subtract the minimum from the maximum, which is what I did. G8 minus G9, that's the location where they are. G8, G9, and I got my range. Next we want to create our table. Okay, we have 138 possible values from minimum to maximum. Well, let's say we want to have 10 intervals. So divide that by 10 which is 13.8, but that's kind of a scuzzy number to work with, so let's bump it up to 15. So we have a class interval of size 15. In other words, that means the width of that class is going to be 15 data points. It may not look like 15 from 120 to 134, but it is because you have to count the starting number. So I've got a, a class width here of 15 points. Now I want to complete the rest of this table, so what I do is I take 120 plus 15 is 135, plus 15 is 150, plus 15 is 165, all the way up. So then I have this outside list. Now I want these inside numbers, all I have to do is say what what is one less than 135? It's 134. What's one less than 150? It's 149, all the way up. Next thing, we go back to our column of data and see how often did we have <clears throat> a value that landed in this interval from 120 up to 134. Well, we had one, two, that's it, two. How often did we have one from 135 to 149? We had one, two, three, four, that's it, four. And we finish it up. Once we've got all of our frequencies listed in here, I like to double check. I add them all up. So down here in Excel I put equals SUM, that's the sum, and then highlight all of these numbers and it will come out with your total. I got 24, which is damn good because I started with 24. Now I know that I haven't missed anything or accidentally added a number in there that did not belong. And we're done.
we've got a grouped frequency table. Easy peasy, right? 